Hello and welcome back to Synapse. This is Ritika and in this video, I'm going to talk about genital ulcers and the differential diagnosis for the same. Watching this video will make it clear for you about the different clinical features for different types of genital ulcers and will help you to come to the right diagnosis when you see this in the clinics. After watching this video, I suggest you to visit our Instagram page at Learn Synapse where I'll be uploading a table with the differences of these uh, different types of genital ulcers. And this one table in your notes will really make your life simple and make the revision of this entire concept very quick. So there'll be five conditions that I'll be talking about. That is herpes, donovanosis, lymphogranuloma venerum, chancroid, and chancre. Let's get right into it. Let us start with genital herpes, which is commonly caused by herpes simplex virus type 2. Although type 1 can also cause this, but it is majorly type 2. You have primary and secondary herpes infection. So primary is the first time the patient is affected by the virus, where he is going to have constitutional symptoms such as fever, malaise, and ulcers, genital ulcers, which are multiple, shallow, and painful. Secondary herpes is where there is no constitutional symptoms. It is milder and a shorter disease. And the reason you have secondary disease or secondary like recurrence in genital herpes is that the latent virus in the dorsal root ganglia of S2, S3 and S4 segments can get reactivated in certain conditions, especially in stress conditions in, and in immunocompromised conditions. Here are two clinical pictures showing herpetic ulcers, which are multiple and shallow. Let us see as to how to diagnose this condition. Diagnosis is done by taking a smear from the vesicles and doing a Zank smear, where you will see multinucleated giant cells. Nucleic acid amplification test can also be used. Treatment for herpetic ulcers is oral acyclovir, 200 mg, five times a day, for seven to 10 days. Intravenous acyclovir can be used in severe conditions. The second condition we're gonna talk about is granuloma inguinal, also called as donovanosis, caused by Klebsiella granulomatis, which is a gram-negative bacteria. It starts as a painless nodule, which changes into or evolves into a beefy ulcer, as shown in the picture. The first picture here shows the beefy ulcer. Diagnosis of same is done by taking a smear and in the smear you can see donovan bodies that is the second picture shown here shows the donovan bodies which is nothing but the rod shaped uh, bacteria within the phag phagocytes. Treatment for donovanosis includes azithromycin 1 gram given once a week for 3 weeks or 500 mg of azithromycin per day for 3 weeks. The third condition here is lymphogranuloma venerum, caused by chlamydia trachomatis, mainly by the serotypes 1, 2, and 3. It starts as painless vesicoposterior lesions, and this spontaneously heals. And after that, lymphatic spread occurs to the perirectal lymph nodes. And further, there will be a bubo formation in mainly the inguinal lymph nodes, which is inflammation of the lymph node. And the picture here shows a bubo. And this bubo can further burst and can ulcerate in the inguinal or the genital region. Diagnosis is done by Frey test, which is delayed uh, skin hypersensitivity test. Other tests you can use are complement fixation test and DNA probing. For treatment, doxycycline 100 mg twice daily for 21 days is effective. The fourth condition here is chancroid caused by Haemophilus ducreyi, which starts as papules, develops into painful pustules and then painful ulcers. And there's a clinical picture here showing a chancroid. Diagnosis is done by taking gram stain where you can see school of fish appearance as shown in this image. Treatment is by using azithromycin one gram single dose and this is almost 98% effective. Syphilitic chancre will be the last condition we'll be talking about. Caused by treponema pallidum, we have primary, secondary, and tertiary syphilis here to understand. Primary syphilis is the first time the patient is uh, infected by treponema pallidum, starts as macules and papules and develops into painless ulcers, hard ulcers in the genital region. 
The characteristics of this ulcer is that it is punched out and it has a rolled out edge. In this image, I want you to notice the rolled out edge of the ulcer. Secondary syphilis. Usually, patients with primary syphilis spontaneously or with the help of treatment heal completely. Very small proportion of patients develop secondary syphilis. Where there are systemic manifestations such as headache, loss of weight, maculopapular rash is seen on the palms and soles, condylomata lata is a characteristic feature seen in secondary syphilis, which is wart like lesions. And very uh, few or smaller percentage of patients progress into tertiary syphilis, where you have neurological symptoms such as meningitis um, or neurological involvement uh, causing meningitis, tevis dorsalis, cardiovascular involvement such as aneurysms, valvular disease, and gammatous lesions on skin. Diagnosis of this can be done with VDRL and RPR, which is not a specific test, although it's very good for screening. Dark field microscopy can be done. Fluorescent titer antibody absorption test and microhemagglutination assay are specific to uh, treponema pallidum. And about the treatment, uh, intramuscular injection of 2.4 million units of benzathine penicillin is effective. Here I end this video and I really hope that this video helped you to revise and to differentiate between different types of genital ulcers. And once again, I would like to mention that do not forget to visit our Instagram page at Learn Synapse, where I'm going to upload a table with differences uh, of the clinical features and causative organism and uh, also the clinical pictures for each of them. So one picture of this or one slide of this information can help you revise this information very quickly. So do not forget to check that out. And please like the video, share the video, subscribe to our channel if you haven't yet. And bye-bye until the next video.